So you've installed the XLive card into your X32 mixer using my awesome tutorial and have recorded some audio, but how do you import it into your computer? I'm gonna show you how. What is up everyone, Man Bun Metal Ed here. Having used the XLive card for the last few years, I have streamlined my import process pretty well, so I figured I'd share it with you guys. If you haven't installed the XLive card yet, I do have a tutorial on that, so make sure to check that out and don't forget to subscribe. Once you have your card installed and some audio recorded, you're gonna wanna go ahead and transfer that to your computer. Once it's there, you're gonna want to import it into your audio sequencer. Most people call them DAWs, but I don't. I use Reaper, but you can use whatever sequencer you want. If you're looking for a new one, I definitely recommend checking out Reaper. You'll notice I have multiple files recorded. I recorded 16 channels, so there should be 16 different files, right? No, the XLive will create a 16 channel audio file, but it does have a file size limit of four gigabytes. So it will create multiple files for a single recording. If I line these all up, they would create one seamless audio file. If you recorded eight or 32 channels, you will have eight or 32 channel audio files. Normally I would drag all these files into Reaper and go from there, but the more files there are, the longer it takes to process. So I'll just do a couple right now. I'll drag them into a new project and it will ask me if I want to insert them as separate tracks or a single track. I'm gonna select single track because they all will line up end to end. And if I zoom out, you can see that I have two audio files. It's still creating the waves for them. So you don't really see uh, the 16 channels in this one, but it's there. And if I zoom in here and let it do some processing, you can see there are 16 channels on uh, each audio file and they do line up seamlessly. There is a little bit of a break there. So we were in between songs, uh, but they're there and they line up. If I went ahead and played this, the issue I would have is you would only hear the first channel in the left ear and the second channel in the right ear. Uh, so Right now it's pretty useless to me and I can't do any mixing with it. So I need to explode these audio files into separate tracks. So I'm going to go ahead and select the two files, right click on them and go to explode implode. And I'm going to want to use explode multi-channel audio or MIDI to items. If you're using a different sequencer, I would go ahead and Google how to explode multi-channel files should be pretty simple. And if you're using Reaper and your menu looks more like this, you're going to want to go to item processing and you'll find explode multi-channel audio right there. Uh, if you want some nicer menus, uh, you're going to want to install remenus and SWS extensions. I'll have a link below for that. Uh, it makes Reaper way better. Once we go here and we go to explode, we can see that it's starting to explode the data. It's gonna take a little bit of time. Um, doesn't take too long, but uh, yeah, we'll just give it a minute. So there we go. Now we have our 16 tracks or 16 audio files in separate tracks. We can scroll down here we can kind of see them all and I'll zoom out a little bit. So they're all in the window. And then up here we have our original file um, and that is muted. And these are all kind of cascaded under there. And you also notice that they're labeled with channel one through 16. Uh, they don't have the original names. So you just have to import that uh, from your mixer. You'll also notice that each track has uh, two audio files in there obviously from the two audio files we imported. If you had 10 files, you'd have 10 back to back. So that process would work the same no matter how many audio files you would have. You can see there, we just had a really dry mix. Uh, so you go here, do your mixing effects and whatnot, and then there you go. Uh, but if you're doing a lot of the same type of recording, uh, you can really speed things up by making a template. I'll show you how to do that. So we'll go ahead and create a new project and I'll go to file, open project template and select my template. So we can see here we have uh, just a blank template with a bunch of channels. So in here I could do all my importing and exploding, but since I've already done it, uh, I'll just go back to this project, take these tracks, copy them and put them in here. So I can go ahead and uh, zoom out a little bit here and start just dragging and dropping all of my audio channels uh, to where they need to go. And you can actually see here, I have my tracks labeled with the channel name and the name of the channel. Uh, and I know that I don't use channel five, 15 or 16, so I'm just gonna delete those and start dragging and dropping. So you can see I have uh, easily just dragged and dropped everything in there. And now I have a pretty basic mix or a template mix. I mean, this might not be perfect. It probably won't be perfect, but I can just start doing some tweaking and go from there. Now, once you have that, you wanna make sure that you save this. So we'll save it. And you also wanna make sure that you check the move all media into project directory to make sure uh, those 
media files that it created for each track aren't kind of located somewhere else. It'll hit save. It's going to go ahead and do all that moving. It might take a minute. Now everything is saved. We're good to go. And you can see how this is just a really quick and easy way uh, to get a quick mix done, especially if you just want to share the files or the practices with your bandmates like I do. Now, if you don't have a template, don't worry, it's really easy to do. So once you've done all your mixing, so say I just did all this mixing, I'm gonna go ahead, save your project, uh, but then go ahead and delete everything. Well, delete all the audio files. You wanna make sure you keep the tracks. So I'll select everything and delete. And then we'll go up to file, save project as template, go ahead and save it. And then I would go ahead and close it and not save it because you don't want to overwrite uh, the original project file. So if we create a new project, go to file, open project template, and we can see our new template is there. Open it up and it's exactly as we left it. If you had the audio file saved in the template, it would automatically bring in those audio files. So you probably don't need those um, unless for some reason you do. Well, there you go. Everything you need to know to import your XLive recordings into your computer for mixing. Hopefully this video helped you out. If it did, hit that thumbs up button, really helps me out a lot. And if you wanna see more of my videos on gear reviews and tutorials, make sure to subscribe and hit that bell icon so you're notified whenever I release a new video. But hey, until next time, rock on. Hey.